Hey, that's Will here, and today I'm going to be showing you every single um, Xbox controller. So basically, um, this is the original Xbox Duke controller. Um, as you can see, it's a massive controller. Um, personally, I think it's actually pretty comfortable, but um, it is wired, as you can see. And, yeah, um, this is the first ever Xbox controller. Um, I do have every single version except for the Xbox 360 um, wired controller. So, I will get to that when we get to the 360. But, um, next we have the um, original Xbox S controller, which, um, as you can see, it says S. Um, it's just a lot slimmer and a lot more compact and comfortable. Um, this was released in 2002. This was only the Duke controller was only around for 2001 and then this came out in 2002 and This was sold with all the consoles 2002 and newer And then next the original um, Xbox 360 controller. Um, this is the white version. They also came in black later with the Xbox 360 Elite um, This is the wireless version and as you can see it still has the stickers from when it was new but yeah, you had this nice removable battery pack, and I think it's pretty similar to the S controller as far as the, like, thumbsticks and D-pad and stuff, and the buttons, but it did add the shoulder buttons and the, um, back and start buttons, which, um, were right, well, actually, back and start were on here, but they were down here, um, and then on the Duke controller, they were right there but on here they were right by the xbox button which is also new is brought you home on the console and then this is your sync button because it's wireless and then the triggers um or the bumpers are basically the same as the um black and white buttons but yeah um then next is is a slight revision the um Xbox 360 controller, um, it was basically exactly the same, but, um, it did change the Xbox, um, home button from matte, like, silver to, like, chrome, basically, and on the, um, this was the one that came with the Xbox 360 Slims, um, so it did feature an all-black design, whereas, um, I do have one, that um came with the elite it's basically just this controller but everything white was black so it still had like gray um thumbsticks and d-pad in this part but on here it's all all blacked out and up here it says xbox 360 whereas on this one it says microsoft but other than that it's the same controller and there's not really any differences um also the um bumpers are a little bit louder as you can see compared to this barely hear these but on this one you can hear it a lot um now the wired controller um as far as i know it only came in white and just picture this controller without this battery pack so it's just like smooth across here um and then picture a wire coming out of there and that's the wired controller basically <laughs> and then next the xbox one controller now this is kind of a poor example because it's very used but um this was the original controller um Every video that I see that mentions these, none of them mention the, like, difference between this. And I'll get to this in a second, but, um, as you can see, this is the controller. Um, it's pretty comfortable. The, um, bumper's definitely very hard to press, which is what they fixed in the revision. And it made this definitely a lot smoother with the battery thing, just like that now. Um, still had the same sync button. Had a micro, um, micro USB port this time so it was a little bit easier to like just use it wired and very similar layouts basically the exact same the next here's the revision so there was a revision in between these but literally all it did was just add a headphone jack and i did used to have one of those but um it stopped working so um sadly i threw it away like in like 2018 or something but this one does have the headphone jack and it also does have this change up top which as i said nobody that does these videos mention it um but this part um 
if you're ever taking apart, you know, you know that it's just this part. Like this, this, this part doesn't come with this part. It's like actual separate part. While this is the same part, but it is like kind of the same design. It's just a little bit modernized. But other than that, it's exactly the same. No differences at all. And then, last but not least, the most recent, the Xbox Series X controller. Um, this is the standard black one that comes with the Series X. Um, and I'll go ahead and note some of the differences. So, overall, it's a little bit slimmer, which, again, nobody mentions this. Um, it's, like, definitely slimmer. It feels like they, like, shaved off, like, part of the X Xbox One controller, like, up in this part. And the um, thumbsticks are a little bit different. I'll use this red one to compare because it's still got most of the thumbsticks left. This one has, like, a dip in the middle. But on the Series X one, it's just, like, a smooth circle. And then they got rid of this design completely, had a share button, and they changed the D-pad to be more like the Elite controllers. And um, they added USB-C instead of micro USB. That's about it. Oh yeah, they added a lot more grip on the back too. But yeah, um, I guess that's it. So hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, please smash that like button. And if you're new, subscribe to us next time. Bye.